Hi folks, nice from Han on Android.com where we get yeah. on Android every day. Anyway, I've got the Android 5.0 L preview on my Nexus 7. Google has just released L preview for developers. Um, you can actually go check it out if you want to. I've got it right here. Um, I do have installation instructions for this. If you want to check it out, um, go to rootnexus5.com. Also, you can install it for Nexus 7 2013 edition. I should have installation instruction for that later also. Uh, but let's go take a look at the developer's preview L edition. Let's go do this, baby. Hi folks, so let's go take a look at Android uh, L preview. This is pretty much preview version of the next Android 5.0 uh, with LimePy. Um, that's why it's L. Uh, they'll probably call it LimePy. Uh, you'll notice that you get nice notifications uh, on your lock screen here. Um, which I already have on many of my custom ROMs, but I think Google has decided that's actually a good idea in that they've actually um, put it on the lock screen here. So if I press this, uh, will it go? It won't actually go, but I can actually swipe it away there. And also let's take a look at the lock, unlock button here. Um, I can go straight to camera. No, I can go to camera like that. There we go. Uh, let me try that again. And if you want to make a phone call, you can swipe to the left. And if you want to unlock, you can go ahead and swipe up. Uh, that's the new dialer here. Let me just do that right there. And also, let's take a look at some of the other stuff. Add contact, add two second pause, uh, send text message. And you'll notice the nice um, different three buttons, sort of like a PlayStation controller there. Um, sort of interesting. And that this is the new launcher, obviously. Um, I think it's going to be called the Keyline Pi launcher. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff. Um, the launcher itself looks like uh, it just looks um, slightly different. Um, you get the same settings, widgets, and wallpaper. All right, there we go. And you got the widgets here. Nothing crazy different about the widgets. And let's actually go take a look at the settings here. Um, you'll find the latest Android 4. Dot, no, Android L for right now. Uh, but that should change to Android 5.0 when it is available. And let's actually go take a look at here. Um, status. And that's the status. System updates. Uh, let's actually check for system updates. Obviously, there is no updates. All right. And also, if you want to check this out, um, let's actually click on the build number and this should give us the developer menus and we got the developer options there um, I kind of like it uh, it's got a light a sort of a grayish bluish um, here and let me see if there's art uh, available here enable all right this is probably boring you guys uh, let's go actually took a take a look at the camera here um, see if the Google camera has changed a little bit. There we go. All right, the Google camera. I believe this is the same Google camera on the KitKat. You don't see much has changed. Um, you can take screenshots real fast while taking video. Uh, let's actually go take a look at the camera real quick and see if there's any new settings. There's HDR plus. All right, let's try that real quick. And that's the ACR plus. And we can see that. That's yeah, all right. All right, what else is new? Um, got the wallet, quick office. Oh, yes, the notification drawer is a lot different. Um, you'll see it's kind of a white uh, background there. Um, sort of interesting. So if you want to get to your uh, quick settings there, Basically, you have to swipe down, swipe again. All right, let me try two fingers, and that doesn't actually change uh, left or right. All right, so I can go here. Now, here's a different thing. Um, you can go ahead and turn off your Wi-Fi, turn on your Wi-Fi, uh, and if you want to change your Wi-Fi, before with KitKat, you would have to hold this down. Now, there's a button for it. Just hit the Wi-Fi, and it will actually just go to Wi-Fi. Um, so interesting stuff. And you got some nice animations. I don't know if you just noticed. Um, there we go. And let me hit home. 
a nice swipe down uh, animation. Um, this, all this we have seen with custom ROMs. Now Google is really implementing uh, some of the, my favorite features um, that I've seen. Also, you'll see a cache screen. If you use uh, Chromecast, now there's a dedicated button um, that comes default, which is sort of nice, I think. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can actually um, go into settings here and change some of these options. Um, let's go actually take a look at NFC and more here. Um, nothing too different here. Display. Uh, adaptive brightness. I think that's new. I think I've only seen it. Have I seen it on um, Nexus 5 before? I don't think so. I think that's all usually on Samsung TouchWiz ROMs. Cast screen. There we go. Let's actually go ahead and search. Uh, there's also enable wireless display. I believe that's for Chromecast. Uh, sound and notifications. Let me go ahead and turn up the volume here so you can actually see some of the different ringtones and stuff. All right. Eh, that's not too new. All right, phone ringtone. Um, showing notifications, pulse light, app notifications. Okay, let me see what this does. Oh, so you can actually control all of your notifications um, for your LED notifications, I believe. And let's actually go take a look at some other stuff here. Apps, um, there we go. That looks pretty much exactly the same as KitKat. Language and input. Um, let's see what kind of languages it supports. It supports most of the languages. Google keyboard, ooh yes, the Google keyboard is awesome. I really like it. And also it comes with Google Korean keyboard, Google pinion input, some interesting stuff, Chinese. Hindi input, that's really nice. I've noticed a lot of the CM11 ROMs, they have every language, or actually they don't, they have all the Latin languages. They don't support Korean language. So I've been downloading all these other keyboards on my AOSP ROMs and it's it's just not working for me. Um, it's pretty horrible. Let's take a look at some of the languages uh, it does support. See, that's what's happening. Um, I believe Google has separated the Latin IME uh, versus all the Asian languages and stuff. So. Now, uh, let me go ahead and go back here, show you the, the keyboard here. The keyboard is new. I really like it, actually. Um, looking pretty good. One of the things I really like about um, stock Android or AOSP in general is the keyboard. Its keyboard is just so much more advanced than any keyboard you can find out there. Um, also does support uh, swipe there. Let's try high on Android. I'm not good at this. Hi on Handley. All right, so that's the keyboard. Let me see if that, ooh, take it out. So this is a recent, um, looking a lot more different. You can hit that, hit that. Let me do a long press, see what it does. Uh, do a long press, no, it doesn't do. I thought it would have like some kind of multi-window, but it does not. But looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and switch it to a Korean keyboard um, because I have friends that I use uh, I use to uh, message, so I definitely need it. All right, use normal Korean keyboard. So this is the older keyboard. I actually like this keyboard. This is from the KitKat, which is actually missing on CM11. Um, so there we go. That's my name in Korean. Oops, yeah, nope. All right, and this one also doesn't support swipe. Uh, but that's good that they have Korean keyboard and all these Hindi and Chinese support separately. Um, that way CM11 developers can actually implement it into their ROMs. Calculator, let's go take a look at the calculator. Um, all right, pretty nice stuff there. And let's take a look at the calendar. All right, uh, pff, cool. <laughs> um, I like that swipe down action, do you see that? And let's look at the clock here. Clock has remained pretty much the same here, uh, which I also use often. And what else has changed? I think that's about it, uh, as far as I can tell. I didn't actually read any reviews. I wanted to make this uh, overview unbiased, uh, just coming from somebody just, just trying it, but I'm sure there's something else that I'm missing here. Backup and reset. Um, Oh, one thing I noticed when you sign in, uh, Google has this thing where uh, it will ask you to um, uh, back up your Wi-Fi for your home and stuff. 
um, you know, before they had that, but they had it all together where you had to, you know, back up everything or something or all your apps. But now the Wi-Fi is separate, which is really nice. I'm always flashing ROMs and, uh, you know, that's going to help me because, you know, it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi automatically. Uh, tap and pay. There we go. They should add some Bitcoin wallets. That's going to look cool. Um, location security. Let's see if there's any new security stuff. Ah, face unlock. All right. Let's just try the... No, this is the same as before, so I'm not going to go over it. There we go. Uh, there's something... Well, language and let's go back to language and input here uh, emojis on there so you can use emojis um, mouse trackpad all right and let's go I really like these recents it looks pretty cool and I can swipe let me see what happens if I go like this there we go um, sort of like the new layout it's nice and clean and it still doesn't rotate sideways. You'll have to have a custom ROM for that, obviously. I don't know why people, uh, <laughs> companies, they don't have sideways, you know? You have to install custom ROMs to do it. Other than that, looking pretty good. Let's go actually try the Google Now. Maybe it's changed a little bit. San Francisco 49ers score. Okay, probably the wrong time of the year. World Cup soccer. Today, the United States, right. Germany matches at 9 a.m., the Portugal, Gunham. All right, lastly but not least, let's go ahead and check out uh, N22 scores. I'm sure many of you are um, interested. Actually, let's just do Quadrant for now. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll have that on another video. You know, I'll have that on just another video because it's getting long, but I'll, over ha I'll have it over at my High on Android channel. And I'll put it in the description. By the time you see this, it might be already there. So this, check the descriptions of this video. Uh, it might be there. But that was a quick preview. And you can swipe away there. I do have a full tutorial on how to install this on your Nexus 5, this exact version, the factory version, if you want to install it. There should be also ROM zip file later today. Um, so I'll have the links to it in my description. So check it out there. And that's just for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And I will see you guys soon. I stay on Android.